Good afternoon, this is Scott Fogelman, and today we're going to cover um, a video about opportunities and um, in case you haven't been working with opportunities. So there's a couple of ways we can get into it. I'm going to show you one of the ways that I use it. Um, I'm going to go into one of my contacts who um, I did not put in to, um, as we've been converting to command, I haven't put everything in here. So I want to add an opportunity. I'm just going to show you how I do it. So I have this client um, and all you have to do is to create opportunity. Click here, and it'll bring up some options. So you team, who's the owner of it? Uh, who's the co-seller? So she's actually married to a Matt. And there he is, we can put it in here. And then we can call this opportunity name, whatever we want to. We can add any custom tags we want, usually you know, single family or land. Um, estimated close date, estimated listing price, commission rate, all that information. Um, just select in the dates when you think it's gonna happen, commission rates. Everything and, um, and what is important is where do you want them to start, start with, uh, with the opportunity? Do you want to be cultivated, appointment, or active? And what opportunity stage? Now, this person is actually already under contract, um, so I'm not going to create the opportunity now, but I'm just going to go into um, my, my uh, opportunity so you can see that. So I just click the, I call it River Oaks Listings. We typically call our listings by the street name followed by the street address. That's find that easier to find it than having the street address and then, or the client's name. It's easier to kind of track it that way for us. Uh, so now we're actually in the opportunity page itself. So you see across the top, you have um, Terry, Brand, Terry, Matt, and select from listings. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and select it from the listings and I can add to it. Now, when I go to look for the listings, I can type in the street address. One of the things you want to be aware of is check all statuses or check only show only my listings. So sometimes our listings don't always show up. Um, and then all statuses, off market for rent, for sale, sold, sold, and rent, whatever it might be. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on here, start the address, and see if we can get it to come up. The house was sold once before, and you see that it had been listed before by a different company. So here it is now, and I'm going to select that. So we'll tie the, the contract to the house. And now I need to go into the actual opportunity and hit this little pencil mark right here and go ahead and just check all the information, make sure everything's correct. Okay, so when was the appointment scheduled, the appointment date? Uh, when did I win the agreement? Uh, time frame for um, when it's going to close, contract date and close date. So when is it actually going to close? So make any changes in here. I want to go ahead and um, put it in here. Right now we're expecting a close date of July 5th. So I'm gonna put that in here and click save. Now, if I can put in here seller's profile, and right now they don't have the they don't have the app, so I need to get them on the app. You can also add your documents, and that's a whole different section I'm gonna go into. So um, it will pull your documents into this, the um, transaction and keep all your documents in one place so you can submit them. You see the submit to, to, um, to MC. We can start a transaction here and go into um, the software, but I'm not going to go to that part. I'm going to come in here and go to the offers. So we're going to add a new offer, and we'll call it initial offer. And you can call it whatever you want to. So we can call it offer date and close date. So we already know that this is supposed to close the 5th. And I probably didn't have to put it in earlier. So the parties, uh, the buyer, we're just going to call them... Uh, John Buyer for now. And you can fill out all the information in here. Um, representation, is it a KW associate or not? And click terms. Oh, let's see. Um, I'm just gonna add, add myself here, even though I don't represent them, just so we can uh, put the demonstration process. So what is the sales price? And it's 435. Oops. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see. They're gonna, we're just going to put down four. So they're putting down 100. And the finance 335. So it fills that out for us. Um, earnest money, we're going to say we're going to put down 1%. And there's no option fee here. Uh, information about terminating the contract. So it, that's different for different areas. And um, we're just going to leave that. Now, if your seller is going to contribute to place some closing costs, you can put that in here. Um, seller contribute to selling the cost, whatever it might be. You do an agent analysis, so the pros and cons and summary. So if you're going to deliver this offer um, you know, through the system, 
you can you can type this up so you have multiple offers you can do it that direction if you want to and then just click save so if my seller has decided to accept this offer i can just go into it and say accept right and then or i can add a different ones so once you have accepted the offer it actually allows you to go into commissions and it'll automatically you know figure out the commissions as far as um how much you're going to pay and how much is owed um, which I find great. So that way it um, figures out your royalty and where you are for the year. So we just cap our annual thing, just cap. So you see, we still owe some royalty. We owe some um, money to the market center. If you have any additional items you can put in here, you can put that down here. So is there a bonus? Is there a concession? Is there a deduction? Um, inside referral, outside referral. So if you have an outside referral fee, you can say, okay, what's your referral percentage? Um, what's the company name? The tax ID, all that kind of information goes in right here. Tax ID number, um, broker company name, agent name, the address to where to send the check, the phone number, and email. And you can just click add. And then that'll deduct it out of your commissions. And then you just click submit and they'll go to your MC um, for review. And you can also add any notes on here in case you, know, you need to communicate something to your MC or keep something saved um, for you and your team members to talk about. And of course, you got the timeline. So that's basically how to kind of go kind of quickly with running um, commissions through, um, through command. Now, one thing I will tell you is um, go ahead and learn some practice ones. And you can, because you can go back through. So maybe if I want to come back through here and say, you know what, we changed our mind, don't change the response. And yeah, we're going to change it. We're going to take out, you know, reject the offer. You know, it's pretty easy to do. So I can go back and just take it out and reject the offer. I can even archive it, um, get rid of it. So um, I can remove it. You see, so very simple to do. Um, so hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to, uh, to ask them here. You can also private message me. I've gotten a couple of private messages. And I'm always happy to answer um, all the questions that I get. Hope you have a great day. Again, this is Scott Fogelman with the Greater Good Group in Lynchburg, Roanoke, Richmond, Virginia.